I don't know who's afraid of Dark Horse, except maybe in Bracket. I know who's afraid of Virginia Wolf, but... Okay. <laughs> Alright, and, and instantly... Yeah, we're going in. <laughs> Dark Horse threatening the commentators, trying no, to downplay how no intimidating he is. Dark Horse doesn't threaten me. No, we're on great terms. <laughs> okay, we're going into this. Yeah, and it looks like both both these players well aware of what the, the, the uh, their opposing character can do to them. Oh! Zips out, out of that hook. Yeah, Captain Falcon not quite able to get there in time. Yeah, it's frame tight in order to get that pivot into the up air. The fastest man in Smash still can't quite get there. I love watching uh, Pikachu's uh, dash dance. He's just like twirling around. His pivots are very um, humorous, I feel. Such a small dash dance. But it's powerful. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Oh, that, was... that Falcon kick almost worked. Yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised that that worked so well. It didn't connect, but at least you didn't die for it. Yeah, it's, That's it's, a success. It's something that I feel like I've uh, I've been starting to see a bit more of in the meta. Mm -hmm. Oh, great challenge. Jaime's been trying to space a lot of back airs, but Kiro is really good to challenge that with a forward air. Got that, great priority. That'll do it. And great, you know, rinse and repeat yeah. edge guard. Five neutral airs and you're dead. Yeah, really. Okay, oh! He's at 100%, but... That disjoint on the up air sets up a very free edge guard. Yeah, th there we go. That is a whack hitbox. <laughs> yeah, high, high my home run going in and paying for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, wow. And Hero perfectly content just to sit on the ledge. I mean, again, it, Falcon is the one who's more afraid to go near the edge. And for good reason, as, we, as, good as reason. we just saw. And Pikachu's grab range. I mean, that grab back throw is so hard to deal with, even at zero. Shout out to zero. Falcon play. But, um, yeah, these back airs are definitely what you want to do, but you have to be so careful with when you're choosing, and you can't get intercepted by Pikachu approaching with a high priority move. See, Jaime Home Run did pick a good time to go in that time. Yeah, he did. And like, that was a very clean back air. Kiro was stuck a little bit. So now he's on the board. Yep. And Jaime loves to go to edge. Yeah, we had two minutes gone, three stocks taken. Oh my god. I'm not at all surprised by this interaction. This was very classic. Okay, up tilt. Oh! Wow, he the missed the regrab. Well, I think there might have been some DI that made it a bit tougher, but it could be some timing. Yeah, I I can't understand that. But the thing is, the only DI that in my mind would have gotten him to the ground fast enough to tack away would have been DI down. Yeah, DI is, down and to the right, which I didn't see there. So yeah, it must that's, have been just more of a missed time. That's very strange. That in my mind, this is a very strange thing to do against a Pikachu up tilt. Regardless, anytime you're forcing someone to react to DI, you're gonna throw off their timing a little bit. They can't just you know do the auto, the next thing, the auto scroller in your combo tree. Yep. That said, many times it is perfectly reactable. For sure. Oh, no turnaround. Yeah, now we're seeing more of the forwarders. I see Alvin use this a lot in this matchup. Misses E cancel, but still got a tech chase. Oh, he went. Ending it a little bit early, so he can't kill off of it. Maybe set up an edge guard with a hook. And then another. Okay. He goes for a dunk. Oh. I guess he's, he thought Trying he needed some extra percent. Yeah, went for a tech chase, or didn't think that the FB would connect. Oh, now uh, you gotta play some close neutral. Okay, that was smart. All right, Knowing they stand alive for a little longer. When you run off stage in order to counter with the back air, that's very risky. You have to bait uh, Kiro, the Pikachu, over there and know you can capitalize. Pivot forward smash? Okay. Nice back air. Uh, back air. It is very true. Falcon does not want to be off stage. No, so when he does and he wins neutral, that's big. That's um, some big brain moves. Yeah, I'm liking this neutral. It, he like Jaime can't approach in this matchup. Yeah, and we are just approaching the halfway point. Mm -hmm. Both of these players have been playing this match very slowly, very methodically. You've, yeah. you've, you've oh. seen that they're both very afraid to go in because they both know that one hit can spell the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the tech chase with back throw. Talking punch. Grab the ledge. Yeah, it looked like Jaime was, was hoping for a grab. Hoping to get the hug. Yeah. He drift his uh, up he wasn't actually quite enough to make it hard match. We're getting tacos coaching. And right. Isaiah's work. Uh, oh, yeah. So we got two coaches. We got a fair game. <laughs> yeah, look, looking like a, a little Mexican solidarity between Tacos and Jaime Home Run. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of U.S. solidarity with Isaiah and Kiro. I suppose so. And that's, uh, that's another transcontinental partnership. Yeah, exactly. Transcontinental. That's uh, That was a theme yesterday with us. Well, we saw a lot of it in teams. Yeah, we did. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah.
from the farther mo farthest farthest most re reaches. There we go. <laughs> farthest most reaches of the continent. You see teams. It's hard to say. Well, the, the pedant in me feels obligated to point out that it's actually just furthest. Yeah, that's fair. Like because the furthest most is redundant. Furthest most is very redundant. Yeah. But you know what's not redundant? This matchup. We're gonna see some fresh neutral. We're not gonna see the same stuff. We're gonna see some very cool adaptation. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised if the game looks in large part similar to the first game, because I think that these are both these are still two players who don't wanna go in if they can help it. Sure. But we're gonna be seeing some mix up where it really mix ups where it really counts. Yeah, there there was definitely a decent consultation yeah. between these two games. So it is true, I would not be surprised to see a few different things, perhaps aided by some outside observations. And Pikachu's grab just winning there. Nice, that will be it. it. Carol looking very hot out of the gate. Yeah, well that's it's tough to say whether, you know, this will keep up for the rest of the match because Falcon's punish game is so strong and his recovery is so weak. So when we only see him recovering, oh, but Kiro is actually... But that's the thing, if Kiro can keep him recovering, if Kiro can keep him off stage, then yeah. that is a significant win for of him. Of course, yeah, when Jaime doesn't have a chance to combo. Wow, that grab. Oh, finish. Okay. Yeah, there was already a little percent on Pikachu, so he couldn't just do the, the standard... Tech chase? Yeah, back throw will force an edge guard. I like to see a hook on the recovery high. Okay. Pretty red low. And there we go. Double single hit fair to Falcon Kick. I love that combo. That was slick. Oh, man. Oh, that, that looked like he got caught in a running pivot. So good. And yeah, reading the roll from ledge. Space around. Oh, the backer didn't connect, but it doesn't even matter. Yeah. From the ledge, Pikachu can react to a lot of Falcon's options. This is a dominant game three for Kiro. Yeah, so in, in the end, it looks like you were right. This game does not uh, resemble the first one so much. Kiro's been staying close, he's been getting those hits, and he's been converting. Okay. And Jaime Attention. has just been on his back foot. He has not been able to control the, uh, the pace of the space. Yeah, when you're dealing with the highest level, you can't really expect stagnation in their like, gameplay. Because the DI is once, twice. They're not at this level not by doing more time. of the same. And that's a 2-0. Yeah, wow. just like that, Kiro walks away with it. 